Good afternoon YouTube, welcome back to Richmond. Uh, just a quick update today, uh, you'll see in front of you uh, three l &ER Suburban coaches. So we've got a Thompson uh, lavatory, I believe it's a composite, um, a Gresley uh, brake and another Gresley brake. Now this Gresley brake uh, has got plastic body which I believe may well be an early Ian Kirk kit, although there are no marks or uh, manufacturers' logos or anything on it or anything like that, and it doesn't look like an Ian Kirk kit, or not one that I've seen. Um, these two here are metal, well, the bodies and roofs and the floor and sides are metal, um, and the bogies are not, uh, I think they're metal as well. Now, I've never seen anything like these before, I bought them off eBay last week um, for a half decent price. Uh, they've arrived a few days ago. They don't have um, tension lock couplings on them, unfortunately. They have uh, these two have three link couplings, as you can see just there. And uh, I've just coupled it up to the V3's um, hook, um, so I'm not putting too much pressure on it. On for hopefully, um, the VV has uh, sprung buffers, so hopefully um, that won't uh, do any damage. This one unfortunately doesn't have any couplings fitted. They are uh, in the box. There's some Jackson slash Romford uh, three link couplings with uh, draw hooks and springs and uh, split pins to hold them in. Now, I kind of like them, but they're not really the sort of thing I'm looking for. Not when I'm uh, converting to KD couplings and looking for stock with uh, narrow tension locks or NEM pockets. So they are uh, for sale. I'm looking for sixty pounds for them, for the three. I believe they're well worth. It. They are quite well detailed for for what they are. You know the the door handles and hinges all picked out, as well as the uh, vent detail on the Thompson uh, lavatory. You know, handrails on the guards van there. I like to say this one I believe is an Ian Kirk kit because uh, all the details moulded in. It's got plastic body. Uh, but like I say, they're not for me. Um, oh, this one as well. Um, it's got a looks like a fox bogey instead of the grizzly on that side. There's a grizzly bogey there, there's a fox bogey there. I have a grizzly bogey um, in an envelope, and an Ian Kurt one that a friend has sent me I had to put on this. I'm kind of reluctant to assemble it and put it on, so uh, that will go with it. Uh, let's just show you these running. Let's just uh, set the controller going. I mean, they run nice and well. I think the V3's having a bit of a struggle to pull them because they are quite heavy. So in there we go into the station. And if we uh, back up, we'll see that it's pushing on the buffers as it comes past. And on the V3's sprung buffers as well. And if we uh, just pull away from the buffers a little bit. And we push back, and you see the springs compress a bit. Um, it won't go around the corners like that, because my curves are a bit too sharp. However, if they were fitted the tension locks, like I say, they would probably go around it. Um, I don't know if King Systems uh, close coupling cam system would fit on these, because uh, they're kit built and not a proprietary, uh, proprietary brand. Um, I'm still undecided what to do with them. I think I'm going to sell them because um, I've got no real use for them. I've got, let's pan around, I've got all these coaches here. There's, at the back, there are three Backland Thompson coaches which I bought uh, on eBay last week with another one there. And the Suburban coach I bought at Toy and Train Fair last weekend, um, which I'm going to put in the Suburban set at some point. So, uh, yeah, if anyone's interested in these coaches, then please, you know, uh, leave a comment in the comment section or uh, find me on Facebook. I'm in the uh, Model Railway YouTube group, community group, or the Model Rail Network. Um, just drop me a line and uh, we'll talk. Uh, nothing uh, on the subject of the layout, nothing has actually happened on the layout this week uh, on account of my wife being poorly in hospital. Uh, unfortunately, she had a gallbladder out uh, last weekend. <coughs> Excuse me, and there's been complications from it. So unfortunately, she's had to go back into hospital. Um, 
for another operation. Uh, hopefully she'll be coming back out in the next couple of days. So uh, working with that will resume. I do have the, somewhere, the Locomotec turntable drive kit. Uh, it's down here. Let's get that out for you and show you that. There it is in all its glory. Um, so that is going to be assembled possibly tonight after my son's gone to bed. So I'm going to take some stuff downstairs and uh, hopefully fit it to the turntable and get it all working. I still need to enlarge the hole a little bit because the turntable doesn't uh, spin, the deck doesn't spin freely. Uh, mainly because the hole isn't big enough. And we'll just push it in there just to see what it's like. And the next thing is I will be purchasing another set of point rodding. Um, I've got loads of rods here. I've got, you know, there's four, five, six sprues left of point running but it's the cranks that I need and the crank bases which I don't have enough of to uh, and the downset drives to finish this little bit and to do the rest of the um, face of point locks which are this one here and this one here and then at the same time we'll be fitting the uh, the copper clad sleeper ends to fix them to the end of the baseboard so well, that's a job for the ne next few days and I might even at some point finish off the station roof I've got the micro strip We've got the glue, so uh, let's do it. Oh yes, and also, uh, I just reminded myself, um, I bought this Land Rover at the Toy and Train Fair at the weekend. It's just, uh, there we go. And uh, this low fit wagon came with this uh, furniture, con fur furniture container. It's spitting words out. So I've, I've, it was glued on, so I've taken it off and we'll just sit it sort of there for now in the good yard. And, uh, I may have to blue tack this uh, Land Rover to the low fit. But if we get a few more low fits and a few more Land Rovers or other sort of similar sized motor vehicles, the uh, 110 Ford controls and stuff, uh, see if we get some armoured cars as well. Unfortunately, the Centurion tanks there, um, to zoom in and focus, they won't fit on it because they're too big and they are a little bit too wide. Anyway, let's just show you. So we just grab one. They're not very well detailed. These these are like old Airfix um, kits, toys really. But they're a little bit too wide. So they're too wide for a wagon. They'd be massively out of gauge. Um, the plan originally was to buy a couple of Warwell wagons, the Oxford Rail Warwell wagons. Um, I was inspired by the uh, ones with the Sherman tanks on. I may just buy a couple with the Sherman tanks on anyway and just keep the Shermans on, even though they're not really appropriate to the era. But, uh, we'll think about that for uh, later on in the year. So, yeah, that's it for now. Remember, uh, if you're interested in these coaches, please drop me a line, because I really need them gone. And uh, we'll have a later update, hopefully later in the week, with the turntable working and uh, fitted and track uh, glued into it. Uh, so, bye for now.